Ladies and gents, you beautiful people, I hope you all are having an amazing, beautiful day as always. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this badass triple hundred stat setup I have for my stasis subclass. And I gotta say, guys, it is absolutely amazing. I was trying to create a build that would benefit my overall neutral game. And that is precisely what this build does. I'm going to be adding timestamps in the description and on the video itself in case you guys want to skip straight to the gameplay if you guys do enjoy the video and only if you do a like and a sub really does help me out a lot keep in mind guys i'm also working on some other crazy pvp and pve setups both for stasis and the light and of course some beautiful and badass pvp gameplays so don't forget that bell notification button so you don't miss anything and now ladies and gents let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing darkness setup as you can see, I'm running 100 mobility, 100 recovery, and 100 strength. And I gotta say, guys, woo, this looks beautiful. As mentioned, this build is focused around the neutral game, and it does a great job of providing extremely strong ability regen, which for stasis subclasses is very important, because the grenades have a higher cooldown than the light subclass grenades, for example. Let's go ahead and start with the armor pieces, and first I'm gonna talk about which burn you want these armor pieces to be in order to make the most of this build. So the helmet, chest, and boots should be arc. And the reason for this is that arc armor pieces will give you the ability to use the special seasonal mods such as powerful friends which gives you plus 20 extra mobility and radiant light which gives you an extra plus 20 strength and these two mods alone make it way easier to achieve triple 100 stats so make sure to equip these if you don't have these two mods they will probably be sold by the gunsmith in a rotation so make sure to visit him from time to time the reason you want to have the third armor piece also arc is because it gives you the ability to move around the powerful friends and radiant light mods in case you want to use different exotics that are not arc and if they are masterwork like most of mine are it really takes a lot of materials to change that burn so having three pieces at arc gives you the freedom to move those mods around now the gloves and the class item are very important you need the class item to be solar in order to run the bomber mod which lowers your grenade cooldown every time you use your class ability and as a hunter with max mobility you can dodge every 11 seconds and every time you do that you will be getting some really good amount of your grenade energy back which lowers the overall cooldown by a lot. Even as a titan with max resilience, you can drop your barricade down every 14 seconds, which also is amazing. Warlock rifts take longer, but that said, this is still very, very good on the Warlock too. So this is the main mod you want to focus on for your class item. Now let's talk about the gloves. They need to be void because you can equip these two new mods here, and these are what make a huge difference in this build. We have focusing strike and bolstering detonation. The first one gives you your class ability energy back on melee damage and the second one gives you your class ability energy back on grenade damage and as long as you land any kind of damage with your melee or grenade you will be getting tons of your class ability back so that pretty much cuts the 11 second cooldown to like six seven seconds which means that you can dodge way more often and since we are using bomber we get our grenade energy back even faster however if you want you can always swap one of these out for a reload mod that's completely up to you but if you're trying to get the most of these crazy perks combinations then I would keep these two on this is absolutely amazing guys but that's not all for the dodge you want to be running the gambler dodge and every time you use your class ability close to an enemy you will instantly get your melee ability back then you deal damage with your melee and get your dodge energy back then use your dodge to get grenade energy in return and you keep repeating this beautiful rotation. And we are gonna take a closer look at this rotation in action, but first I want to go over all the details that make all of this even better. So let's go on and take a look at the fragments. Whisper of Refraction. Defeating slowed or frozen targets grants class ability. So this is even more synergy of all these perks and abilities because don't forget, you get your dodge energy back when you hit enemies with your abilities thanks to the mod on the gloves right and after they are affected with those abilities you get even more energy back when you kill them thanks to this fragment right here and ladies and gents it gets even better this is some crazy stuff guys whisper of durance slow from your abilities lasts longer for those abilities that linger their duration will also increase this pretty much means that when you do slow someone you're gonna have more time to get the kill while they are slowed so you get your class ability back easier i mean if this isn't some 
beautiful perk and build synergy, I don't know what is. Another thing to keep in mind is now you can equip your seasonal mods on your exotics. Thanks to this change, we can have all the mods I went over and we can still add high energy fire and taking charge to do more damage every time you pick up an orb. And this is amazing both for PvP and PvE. Now that we went over the main rotation, the mods, the fragments, let's talk about what kind of roles you are looking for on your armor pieces. And it's pretty simple, honestly. Thanks to the powerful friends and radiant light mods, you don't need any crazy god roll. As long as the armor piece has a total of around 50 points between mobility, recovery and strength, you'll be fine. So let's say armor piece drops at base 57, which isn't the greatest but still can be more than enough if the stat distribution is correct. It can potentially be 20 recovery, 15 mobility and 15 strength. However, the higher the armor piece and the rolls, the better of course. So when you see armor that drops at around 55-58 base stats, don't delete it right away. Take a closer look at the stat distribution. Okay, now let's talk about some weapon choices that synergize extremely well with all of the above. And not only are there exotics, but there are new legendary perks that come with Beyond Light that are amazing in combination with this triple hundred setup. But first, let's talk about the one and only Traveler's Chosen. The sidearm is meant for builds like this and it is especially amazing for stasis because the darkness subclass has higher cooldowns. Getting one kill in PvP with the sidearm and using the energy gives you a big chunk of all of your ability energy back instantly. And if you get three kills, it gets crazy because you can get like 90% of your energy back right away. So this does make Traveler's Chosen my number one pick. However, thanks to Beyond Light, there is a legendary perk called Wellspring and this works kind of like the Traveler's chosen. It doesn't give as much energy back of course but it frees up the exotic slot and you don't have to reload to get the energy. This perk works like this. If you have one ability on cooldown, every kill will give you around 10% of energy back to that ability. If you have two abilities on cooldown, it will split that 10% between the two and it will also distribute the energy accordingly when you have all of your abilities on cooldown. So it's not as crazy as the Traveler's Chosen, but it still is a great perk to use with this build. So far, I have got this perk on this pulse rifle right here and a machine gun. Both of these I got from Varix, by the way. If you don't have any of these, the Demolitionist perk is also perfect as it does give you a solid solid amount of your grenade energy back with every kill, so as you guys can see, we have quite some options. Before we go into the crucible, let's quickly jump into some PvE and check this rotation in action. Our grenade, for example, takes 1 minute and 50 seconds to fully regenerate, so let's see how much we can reduce this cooldown, and I'm gonna do that without Traveler's Chosen, so you guys get a good idea on how good the setup really is. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the grenade. Of course, we need to dodge right away to get some of the energy back. And then thanks to Wellspring, we're going to be getting tons of our energy back, including melee and class ability, right? Right here, dodge again, throw the melee to get tons of your class ability, pretty much get it back instantly, and then keep dodging to regenerate your grenade. Gonna throw another melee, dodge. Regenerate that beautiful energy over and over again. And we got it. So it took 37 seconds instead of 1 minute and 50 seconds to get our grenade back. And the great thing about the setup, guys, and all the mods is that you're not doing anything crazy and out of your way to make this work. You're just pretty much playing the game and you're getting your abilities way faster than normal. And if you use Traveler's Chosen, for example, you can get your abilities back even faster in combination with this setup. And keep in mind that this also works really well in PvP, as you will see in the gameplay. Okay, now let's talk about Gemini's and why I like to use it for this particular setup. In order to proc the Gambler's Dodge, you have to be close to your enemy. And while dodging, you will be taking away their radar thanks to Gemini's, which makes it way easier to flank and land easy melees or even get in some sneaky freeze grenades, which on its own makes the whole rotation way easier to perform. And you can use this both for aggressive pushes or even when you're trying to get away from your enemy, Gemini is always very useful. The moment you dodge, whoever is chasing you loses the radar and it gives you a way higher chance of surviving. And when I'm running the Traveler's Chosen or any sidearm in general, it makes it so much easier for me to play the close range game simply because my enemies 
Pisces have no idea where I am. I truly think that the Geminis are one of the best exotics in the game. The Stasis subclasses overall have brought a lot when it comes to customization, and I feel like there is even more coming in the future, new aspects, fragments, and so on, and I honestly can't wait to test them all out. That's gonna be it for the video everyone, now I'll let the gameplay roll. If you did enjoy the video, and only if you did, as mentioned, a like and a sub really does help me out a lot and is very very appreciated. I'm working on many really cool builds at the moment and I can't wait to share all of them with you guys, so stay tuned. Thank you once again for all the amazing support, I appreciate every single one of you, and as always, have a crazy beautiful day. I love it.